And let's discover in this lesson le style indirect avec demander et ce que. So once again, we'll cover this style indirect, and in that case, we'll see exactly how it works with the verb demander. Demander is to ask, but then um, this situation will be quite clear because we'll try to cover the situations when in the direct style you've got que or then qu'est-ce que so this what so clearly talking about a uh, question in that case and when we will transpose them when we will use them with demander so que or then qu'est-ce que so they will become ce que Mm -hmm. So let's see now a few examples. So the first one, je demande, que fais-tu? I'm asking, what are you doing? Okay, so it's actually quite simple in that situation. So remember what we saw previously? So technically we will use first demander again. So it means that the first part won't change. I mean, obviously we'll have je demande. D'accord? And then I told you a few minutes ago that que, or then qu'est-ce que, will be transformed into ce que. Okay, so let's see now how it looks like. Je demande, so as we saw, instead of que, we will put ce que. All right? And because we're transforming the thing and it's not a question anymore, so we will have to keep again the same traditional order, subject, verb. Subject, tu, verb, fait. So I am asking what you are doing. Je demande ce que, and then tu fais. Okay? So let's see now another example. Je demande qu'est-ce qu'il veut. I ask, I'm asking, what does he want? All right, so we'll do exactly the same thing and think about that. It will be exa exactly the same logic. So we'll start with je demande again. Instead of qu'est-ce que, we will use ce que. And then after that, we'll keep the same order, subject, verb. Je demande ce que. But you can see that you've got a vowel after, so obviously the e uh will have to disappear, and then you will put this apostrophe. Ce que, and then il veut. Okay, so I ask what he wants. Je demande ce qu'il veut. Last example, just to make sure that you understand everything. Je demande, que veulent-ils faire samedi prochain? I ask, what do they want to do next Saturday? So we'll do exactly the same thing once again. Je demande, it won't change. Que veulent-ils faire samedi prochain? So que, we saw that, huh? it will be transformed into this ce que. We'll have to put back the subject before the verb. So, ils veulent, and you continue the structure. And as we had previously, for the que, a uh, will have to disappear and we'll put this apostrophe because you've got il right after. Je demande ce qu'ils veulent faire samedi prochain. I ask what they want to do next Saturday. So I hope it was clear. It's not really tricky if you think about that. You need to remember that it will be je demande, or then in that case it was je demande, huh, because I wanted to put only the first person. But after that, ce que, remember that if there is a vowel coming after, a uh, will have to disappear and you will put this apostrophe. Okay, and if in the original question you've been putting first the verb and then the subject, as we normally should do in a formal question, you should put it back in the classical order, subject and verb. Okay, je demande ce que, 
then the subject, then the verb. Voilà, merci beaucoup.